Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Passionate Kelsey and today we are at the end before the end of the Backwards Rainbow series. Today we are doing the color red. We've officially reached the beginning of the rainbow. So before this we did purple, blue, green, yellow, and orange. We're at the end, but don't worry, this will continue with other colors such as pink, black, white, gray, brown, anything else, I don't know. Back to our main color of the day, red. We're doing red. Everything I make today is going to be red, okay? So why don't we start by gathering some materials, hmm? Well, I guess that's it. We have some velvet red yarn and red cotton yarn and red acrylic yarn. I have more red acrylic yarn, but like they're pretty much all the same. Red is kind of a difficult color, I think. There's like, there's not enough red that is not leaning towards pink. Because if, if it's even like slightly not red, it's pink. It's just pink, it's just dark pink. Red is very specific. I don't know. I made myself a little list on my phone again, so hopefully we will keep on track. We won't have trouble making decisions. The first thing that I had on my list was a lily top because we have been making lily tops in every one of these videos. Also, it's fast, it's easy, and I already have one on my website that's red, so I already have the pictures, I already have the listing, everything would be like ready to go, so. Might as well just make it, get it out of the way, get it done, have our first project of the day be easy and quick. No thoughts, just vibes. We are gonna be making a size small. Boom, times two. I think that red is a color that I use probably the least amount of all the colors. I generally don't use red by itself a lot. I kind of just buy red so that I can put it in other things such as a rainbow or if I'm making something for Christmas and I need like red and green. Yeah, but I don't I don't make a lot of just red items. Probably because red is like not really one of my favorite colors. I don't really know why other than that, I guess. Do you like red? Do you use it a lot? Do you have a lot of red yarn? Do you make a lot of red projects? I wonder if it's just a me thing or if it's kind of like a everyone thing. I don't know. Let me know. Red Lily Top is officially done. This would be our first red item of the day. Wow, great job. We are going to set that over here. I'm gonna mark it off my list and let's see what else we have in store for the day. So I have velvet yarn, which means we can make scrunchies. That would probably be a good thing. I was kind of thinking maybe we could make another octopus, just like the orange one that we made in the last video. It was small, it was cute, and it was simple. And also, what if we made it in the velvet instead of the acrylic? We can make one in acrylic, we can make one in velvet, and then like maybe, I don't know, do people like double strand? We could double strand velvet and acrylic. I don't know, I don't know guys. That's just on the radar. Another top that I had in my website was a peekaboo top, also made in red. And then another thing that I have on the list is just a cotton bucket hat. I think I'm gonna start right now with just some scrunchies. I'll probably just make two, simple, quick, easy. After that, octopus. But first, a uh, small break. It is lunchtime. At home, to more than 9,000. What is Paul Rudd doing narrating my octopus show? I just wanna learn about octopus, okay? I don't wanna hear Paul Rudd. I don't want Ant-Man. Whatever, he did fine, actually. Time to make some scrunchies. There's one. 
All right, guys, mission accomplished. We have two red scrunchies. They're going to go on the pile in the area over here. Now, next, I'm gonna grab this yarn and we're going to, uh, we're gonna need our 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I need some eyeballs and some stuffing. And we're gonna make another little tiny octopus boy. Eyes. Stuffing. This yarn is Crafter's Secret Big Idea. It's one of my favorite acrylic yarns. The color name is red. Great. Just a reminder, we are using the free No Sew Amigurumi Octopus pattern from Knits and Knots by Amy. I will attempt to remember to put the link in the video description if you want to make one yourself. Alrighty, let's see if we can do this again. And let's see if maybe we can do it faster this time. The first one, the orange one that we made took about 30 minutes. We started this at about 4.35, by the way. It's going uh, great, great. Here's the, uh, the head finished. Tentacle time. Caesar's home and I want to take a break. So we're literally going to drop this one tentacle in pause. I'm going to go eat some food and watch some TV and then, and then I'll come back and I'll finish the octopus. Okay. Promise. You want to hear something? Sure. Yeah. Uh, whenever I was at work today, this vendor asked if I was, if I slept in a cow field, and I sat there staring at him for like a few seconds because I thought he was being racist. Yeah. Uh, and then he was like, because of your hair, it looks like you have a cow lick. Oh. And then I had to fake laugh. I went, ha ha ha, yeah, I slept there. And then I walked away. Oh. Never talked to this man before in my life. Um, so that's what I deal with. I made, I'm, I'm making an octopus. Let's go watch Modern Family. Put in SS SFX sound of me cocking loading gun. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, hi, hi, hello. Um, it's obviously the next day, and I'm a liar. Last night we went out to watch TV. We watched some TV and then we had some dinner and it was tasty and then we watched some more TV and then I was real snug. I was snug as a bug and then I fell asleep and I had a little couch nap and then by the time I woke up I was like I don't want to work anymore so I didn't. So we're just we're just gonna finish up this video today. Octopus in progress and uh it's fine. <laughs> Um, it's already late in the day, which is fine because like that's kind of where I stopped yesterday, but uh, we uh, We took the dogs to the vet today. They were very scared. They got some shots Neji did just so good He's gonna he got a little treat so But we're back. Uh, well, I'm back for you. This just happened and I'm gonna finish this baby up Okay, all right tentacles acquired I'm gonna put the eyeballs on now. Okay, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay, I did it. I did, I, we got one. Are you supposed to put the backs on like, which way do they face? Do they face like this way? Or do they face like that way? Doesn't matter. Okay, it's eyes guys guys now. I can look at you and stuff. Stuff, yeah. Now we're gonna stuff it. And um I I close up the bottom. Yep. You want some? I would have to make like thirty octopus to uh What's the plural of octopus? Octopuses? Octopi? It's octopuses. Okay. 
Okay, let's, uh, we're gonna close her up now. Octopus. Okay guys, our little Octo is officially finished. This guy uh, definitely reminded me many reasons that I don't like Ami. The orange one that we made in the other video like wasn't that bad, but this one, um, I'm good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just cause like the hook was so tiny and making all of these little squiggles, it's just, it takes a lot of energy it was making my knuckles hurt and bleh. so anyway this would be red item number four set that over there there you go see i was going to make more of them i have bigger eyes so i was i think we talked about making them with maybe the velvet yarn and then also maybe like double stranding the velvet yarn with another red yarn I don't know if these eyes are big enough though. The uh, the pattern, the one that we made, it uses six millimeter eyes, which is this guy right here. And then these are the biggest eyes that I have, which is like, it's not that much bigger. So, I mean, I guess we could try making it in the velvet. Maybe I won't single crochet in the back bumps whenever I'm doing the tentacles. I'll just like single crochet on the chain regularly. That would probably help with my hands and a little bit of frustration, honestly, but yeah, I do like the fact that it's no so. Here's the bottom, it looks really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's make another one, but with the velvet, see if it is still bad. Not that, the nothing against the pattern. The free pattern is great. The octopus looks great. I like it, I just don't like making it. Yeah, it's personal preference. Nothing wrong with the pattern or anything about it really let's see let's see okay so um what hook size should i be using with the acrylic yarn the worst weight the recommended hook size is a uh, 5.5 and it goes down to a 3.5 so we went down two sizes this velvet yarn uh it says it's five weight and the recommended hook size is 6.5 so if we went down two it would be 4.5 but it is a fluffy yarn, so it might be better to go just go down another half size. So maybe we could just try it out with the four. Which I mean like, yes, it's close to the 3.5, but it's, it's still better. Okay, yeah, I guess uh, I'm doing this. I am, we are. We're gonna do it together. Let's go. Do we think this magic circle is gonna break? I can't see anything. Well, this is gonna be significantly bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only two rows in and it's, it's already much bigger. Okay. So far I have nothing against this. It, it, it does feel better than the, uh, the acrylic one, but this is also not the hard part, so. It is tentacle time. That was, that was not bad. That was not as bad. I, I think it's because I wasn't crocheting in the back bumps. I was just crocheting normal, but yeah. We gotta put the eyeballs on and close up the bottom. I do wonder how these eyes, I think they're big enough. It'll look fine. This is literally just bending instead of going on. Come on, come on. Do I have different backs? Is there, am I doing it wrong? Ah, yes, okay. Bigger eyes, different backs. Those are too small. They're still hard to get on anyway. There we go, he can see now. Let's stuff him up. Stuff him, stuff him. Okay, 
Closing it up. Octo. <laughs> it's cute, it's cute, really, it's cute. This one was definitely not as painful as making the first one. It was a little bit easier. I, this is like, I mean, 3.5 millimeter hook. That's kind of a pain. Four, not that bad. I'm used to working with a four. It is bigger. It's just a little bit bigger. But I think they look great. I kind of love it in the velvet. It's nice and fuzzy. Anyway, we finished this one. So that would be our one, two, three, four, fifth red item. He's nice. He's nice and fuzzy. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Um, where's my list? Okay. We made the octopus. Great. I don't know what else to make. I have literally been sitting here for an hour, like just being like, okay, what, like, what's next? And I, I looked at my list, right? The only other things on here are a bucket hat, a tote bag, which I don't really want to make right now, and a peek boob top, just because I have it on my website. I'm like going through project ideas in my brain, and I'm trying to think of them, and just, it, red, red, mm. None of them are appealing to me in red. But the day is like coming to an end. The sun is going down and I feel like we should do something else. But what? But what? Well, okay, well, I was gonna say we can make another top, but just looked and uh, this is all of the red Lily Sugar and Cream I have left. I do not buy this color often, like I said. And uh, I, this, this is not enough to make another top. So that's out. We could make more scrunchies and uh, that would use up the rest of our velvet yarn. This would make about five scrunchies probably. And this is all of the red velvet yarn that I have. So might be a good option. And all the other red yarn that I have is just acrylic basic red yarn so like i don't know all right i've made a decision we are going to take this guy this guy and this guy and i'm going to make my gingham bucket hat it's like plaid i have a tutorial for it on my channel if you know you're interested in that i'll be doing that might have to watch my own tutorial actually. I don't even remember how to make this, this thing, this thing. I'm hoping it looks better as we um, continue. Oh my God, I just realized it's giving candy cane. Well, <laughs> awesome. I'm just, I'm just super ahead for Christmas time, okay? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Not Christmas, but picnic blanket. 10 times cuter immediately. Okay, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. We have two more rows, double crochet on the body, and then we'll do the brim and then dawn. Imagine if we just put like little crochet ants all over this, really lean into the picnic blanket theme. That'd be kind of, be kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. <laughs> very nice. Very nice.
Okay, I think picnic table, but I asked Caesar and uh, he said Dr. Pepper. <laughs> uh, either way, it's cute. It's cute. And it's done. Okay, guys, it is, uh, I was going to say late, but it's only 10 o'clock. I'm going to call it a night. This will go on our pile. We'll do a full roundup tomorrow. I'm not going to bed. I'm actually ordering myself Taco Bell. Because <laughs> when else do you order Taco Bell? I know. And if I feel like it tonight, I'll make some more scrunchies. But if I don't feel like it, then like, don't even worry. Don't even worry. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey there, guys. Let's go ahead and get a final roundup of all of the red things that we made today. Not today. The last two days. So the first thing that we made is this size small lily top in red. Basic. Cute. Made this before. I'm pretty sure the last time I made it, it stayed in my shop for quite a while, so. Next, we've got a classic. I made two red scrunchies. These are great. Oh, by the way, I did not make any more scrunchies. We just got the two. Just the two. Next, we did Ami again. Shocker. So we made this little octopus boy. What do you think? He's a cutie. And again, I made another one. This time I made him in velvet instead of acrylic. He's a little bit bigger. He's a little bit softer, a lot of bit softer. And he's cute. Cutie, cutie, cutie. So there's those two. Yeah, yeah, there we go, okay. And last but not least, we did make a gingham bucket hat. Here it is. This was definitely a last minute decision. I was not feeling motivated. I was struggling to make choices on what to do, what to make, what was gonna look good. Whenever I started this, um, I didn't really vibe with it, but by the time I was finished, I like it. I like it a lot. I also like it in the sunlight, looking at it now, and it, it's like, it's much better than whenever it was nighttime and in my room and all of these, just like, you know, light bulb lighting. It's different, it's different. So there we have it. Here is all of our red items. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things, two octopus, two scrunchies, one hat, and one top. What do we think? Do we do good? I think, I think we did good. Like I said, a red is a hard color for me personally. Is it a hard color for you? Do you use red a lot? Let me know which one is your favorite. I think that my favorite ended up being the hat, which was funny because it was my least favorite to begin with. So yeah, I definitely think the octopus are so cute. Octopuses, yeah, which we learned in this video. I kind of like the velvet one, not gonna lie. And as you know, I have a lot of velvet yarn. So like if I get the urge to make something this is a good option, especially because it's no so, and uh, I have a lot of scrap yarn stuffing to get rid of, so it might be kind of a good option some days. Anyway, we've officially made it to the beginning of the rainbow. This series was very fun. Don't worry, this is not the last video. We're gonna continue. We finished the official rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, but I want to continue with some other colors that are not traditionally included in the rainbow, such as pink. Okay, I can't, I just, I can't not do a pink video. And maybe black, maybe white, maybe gray, maybe brown. Do you have any other suggestions? Any other colors that are not coming to my noggin? Let me know in the comments if you wanna see something specific. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you want more content from me. You can join my channel if you like. I'm gonna post extra videos anytime that I can. I sell passionate merch and I have a PO box if you'd like to send me mail. Both of those are in the video description and that's all I have for you today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.